Hey guys, it's Rachel, and welcome back to another video, and this week I am showing you guys five more patterns that you guys can draw in your pastime or when you're bored, and my, the last video that I did of this got really popular, at least for my channel, and it seemed like you guys really liked this, so I decided to give you guys five more patterns that you guys can draw whenever you want. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so our first one is going to be pretty simple out of all the diff different ones I'm going to be showing you today. This is probably going to be one of the easier ones. So basically all it is is going to make triangles going in opposite directions and just make columns of them next to each other. Mine didn't turn out very neat because this is the first time that I've ever done this pattern. So um, when you're doing this, I recommend either taking more time doing it or use a ruler to make sure that your columns look straight and... Uh, they'll just look better in general. Alright, so here's the final product of our first pattern. Let's go ahead and get on to the next one. Alright, so our second pattern for today is probably my favorite pattern out of all of these. It's just these little like oval -y circles that you just go on top of each other so you start with one half circle then you go over that about four or five times depending on your piece and then you just stack them and this can look super super good depending on what you're doing it looks really good as a border or if you like go across the paper which is sort of what i'm doing right now but i don't end up going all the way across the paper or you can fill up an entire page and it just looks really really cool just because of the detail on it Here's the final product of this pattern. This one is my favorite. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the next one. All right, so the next pattern is probably the hardest pattern out of all of them that I'm going to be showing you today. So if you would like a challenge, uh, you can try this one out. If you're a beginner with patterns, I recommend not doing this one because one, it's hard to explain and it's pretty hard to draw. As you can see, I messed up a few times, but basically it's sort of like a T that's bent up at the beginning and it's like 3D. So I recommend just sort of looking at this video and looking at photos online for this pattern and just trying to copy it as best as you can. All right, here's a finished pattern. So as you can see, if you do it correctly, it can turn out really well. So let's go ahead and get onto the next one. Alright, so our next pattern is pretty easy. Basically what it is, is a bunch of diamonds diagonal from each other. And the reason that this one turns out pretty cool is because the diamonds are all the same shape. They kind of uh, make it look like there's a circle around each diamond. And sorry that this one is a little bit off center. I guess I didn't look at the camera before I started recording. All right, here's the product of the pattern. So let's go ahead and get on to the last pattern. All right, so this pattern is also one of my favorites. And why I put that arc there is this pattern looks really good coming off from like an edge of a paper or a wall or something. So that's why I put that little curve there just to show you guys that. And basically what it is is you're going to put a bunch of columns up next to each other and then you end it and then you start it over again and kind of grow them off of each other as you guys can see. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like. I may start to do two videos a week now that I have more time, but we will see if I am able to do that. Uh, make sure you guys leave a comment letting me know what kind of videos you guys like to see on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome weekly art videos, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!